guys, how are you keeping? Today, you might notice that I don't have my extensions in. That's because I'm going to do something that I very rarely do, which is a hair tutorial. I get asked this quite a lot because I wear my hair like this quite a lot. Not on camera, but to work, etc. And it is how to do a top knot without making it look ridiculous. So, <laughs> I get asked quite often, like, how do you do the top knot? And how is yours, like, so messy, but yet looks so perfect? So that's what I'm going to talk to you about today and show you how I do it. So all you need are some bobby pins and hair tie and whatever else you want in the meantime. So I'm going to show you three that I use quite frequently. The first one is the messy top knot. So what you want to do first is make sure that your hair is brushed and then you want to get your hair into a ponytail. A messy one that you're going to comb with your fingers. And please excuse any root grow out that you see. I am getting my hair done next week. So you want to just kind of keep combing everything into a ponytail. You don't have to have any hair length to do this because my hair length is quite short. What you want to do is now find out where exactly you want your top knot to be. So I'm going to go with right there. Um, I don't want it like too too high. So what I do then is I take my ponytail and I take my hair bobbin. I wrap it around once, twice and now it's getting tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it like that and just leave that much out. So you're left with this kind of little tiny bun. And then you just keep pulling at your hair to kind of make it come out a little bit more and mess up. And what I do as well, see the way there's like bits like this? What I always do is I will pin them back into the ponytail. So I'll pull out the ponytail or the hair bobbin and I'll just kind of pull them through. And it kind of leaves everything a little bit messy but yet still put together. I never pull hair out from the back and bring it to the front. I always bring whatever hair falls out round to the back. So no matter where the hair is falling out from, it always goes to the back and that just kind of gives the shape to your ponytail. And that's kind of simple again, the easiest top knot that I can think of and just pin into place where you want your hair to be. So that is the first top knot that I do and again, like I was saying, just keep pinning wherever you want and just go to whenever you're happy. So the second top knot that I do, please excuse the mess of my hair, the second top knot that I do is actually kind of the most common one that I would do because I wear it to work. So with this one, I leave a bit of hair out. You don't have to, you can put hair in. But what I do is I leave the hair out because I like to kind of have my fringe out. Again, you're gonna comb your hair into a ponytail like what I always do with your fingers. Or if you want this to be a top knot that's kind of neat, you can use a hairbrush, but I like it messy. So what I do is I comb it up like that. Now, I don't go ahead with my ponytail, I don't go ahead with my hair bobbin rather to put my hair into a ponytail. What I do is I hold my hair with my fingers like that and then at the bottom or the base of the ponytail, I will grab it like this with my other hand and I'll bring it up like that. So you're left with kind of this tiny little bit hanging out. That's when I go in with my hair bobbin like that. So this little piece of hair is still hanging out at the back and your hair is kind of in like a, I don't know what sort of shape you would call it. But I would um, keep wrapping the, the hair bobbin around my, my hair until I'm left with something that looks like this. So it doesn't look very elegant or nice, but I'm gonna show you how I get it into the top knot. This is kind of like my donut top knot. So what I do with either side, see the way they're kind of looped around? What I do with them is I pull them forward like this and then I pin. Okay, and then I do the same on this side. So I just pull the loop around so that it is going into kind of a donut shape. And that's the easiest way that I can do a donut because my hair is so short, I can't put it in a donut. And then at the back, this little piece of hair, you'll end up kind of, you can clip it away. So I just kind of keep going around with it, pulling the pieces of hair down to kind of make them loop. Um, and that gives me kind of the simplest donut shaped hair bun, top knot, whatever you want to call it. And I just kind of pull out any like little baby hairs and stuff like that. You know, you can keep messing with it until you find something that you're happy with. But that's usually what I'm left with. So that's the second bun that I do. 
The first one being the messy one, the second one being kind of a little bit more put together top knot. So for the third top knot, you can take pieces of hair out like before, or you can leave all your hair up. I'm going to put all my hair up and then pull out baby hairs. Now for this one, I'm going to literally grab it like this, so it sits on top of my head, kind of like an old pineapple. <laughs> and then I kind of grab the bottom of it with my hand like this. And I twist it around. And then I grab hold of everything with my other hand. And then I pull the hair bobbin out. So you're left with, after you do the third one, something that looks like that. <laughs> which is kind of a bit messy. But that's exactly the look that we're looking for. So you just keep pulling at this hair top knot and keep like putting bits back into the hair bobbin and keep messing with it until you get something that you're really happy with. You can mess with the top of your head like that and you can pull out baby hairs whatever way you want to do. You can leave your fringe out or your bangs or whatever you can leave them out before you actually put this up or you can do whatever you want. So I just keep playing around with this and when bits fall out I'm kind of like even happier because I get to like bring them back into the ponytail and it just kind of brings everything together. You might need, with this top knot, you might need a hair pins or hair bob bobby pins to kind of clip it into place but I don't find that I ever do with this one. I only need it with the donut one that I showed you before and maybe the first one but like that you can do whatever you want with it. It took me ages to kind of master this but because I have such short hair it's so much simpler because the hair doesn't fall out on me. If you have longer hair I recommend using bobby pins with probably every one of these looks. So I hope you like this video guys. It was just something a bit different for me. It's just a question that I get asked a lot in real life about how I get or how I achieve a messy bun or a messy top knot, whatever you want to call them. I just think that's really easy for even if you're just going around the house or you can make it a bit more put together if you want to go to work or whatever you're doing in your day. This is really simple to achieve and like it takes like two seconds so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in my next one guys bye bye